Welcome, brave adventurers. Get ready to embark on an epic journey as we dive into the captivating world of Call of Dragon. In this video, we're delving deep into the heart of Chapter 2 game story, where new challenges and mysteries await. Enjoy watching the tale unfold and may the dragons favor you on this adventure. Let the journey begin. Boss! Boss! Bad news. Very bad. The goblin wants to blow the place up! Ooh. Oh. Didn't realize you two were so fast. My lord! A wyvern rider is causing trouble outside the city. He insists we're hiding his treasure. He's already planted bombs outside the gates. At last, an audience! Now, which one of you's the boss? Then listen up! You're in the presence of Craig and Spike! History's greatest, craziest mercenary duo! Hand over the treasure now, and I'll try and make sure your walls still look pretty after I blow them wide open! A misunderstanding! Hear that, Spark? Isn't that just what those hunters said when they captured your nearest and dearest? You won't confess your crime. Then buckle up, cause it's showtime! See, Spark? I told you it sounds better when it rhymes. Now, Super Boom Barrel! Fire! <laughs> and that was just a preview! So give me what I want, or the next tour venue's right inside your city walls! I love the performing arts as much as anyone, but I think you better give him his treasure, hon. Hear that, Spike? Still won't admit it. Maybe I ought to jog your memory. Did you or did you not see a big old dragon come this way? A dragon came here? Oh, that's so cool. Still playing dumb? Then take a look at this. A couple days ago, when I was testing out my super boom barrel, there was an earthquake. No doubt testament to my prowess in the explosive arts. Next thing I knew, I'd awoken a huge black dragon. Scales as tough as cold iron, and wings like great scythes. Everybody ran about like headless chickens. But we weren't scared, were we, Spike? We followed the beast in hot pursuit. Then, uh, it disappeared. I'm not finished yet. It disappeared into a cave. I can smell a dragon from miles away. I know exactly where it's hiding. Me and Spike went into the cave, and we found this map. Dragons love hoarding treasure, so this has got to be its treasure map. Using my incredible powers of deduction, I came to the conclusion that the circle is right here. Chief. On the night of burning stars, I saw a black dragon. We fought it before it disappeared into the mist. Toughest foe I've ever faced. Aha! You admit it! So, hand over the treasure! 
First of all, who says it's your treasure? And second of all, how's a dragon supposed to draw a map, genius? And if that was a dragon's lair, how come the dragon wasn't there when you took the map? And another thing, there is nothing on that map to tell you where that circle is. How do you know it's here? Exactly. So hand it over. He's not listening, hun. Might as well check out the cave, Chief. If he's telling the truth, maybe we'll find something that'll lead us to the dragon. What are you up to? Huh? Who do you think you're talking to? Come on, Spike. Let's show him the cave. Try and keep up. We ain't gonna wait for ya. See this drawing here? It's a dragon. Spikes and scales for armor, hooks on its wings. That's the monstrosity we saw that night, all right. Why does monstrosity sound like a compliment when you say it? Hmm, let me have a look. So there's a dragon passing overhead, the mountains shake, rocks crumble, the trolls are cowering in their caves, afraid to move. Hey, wait a minute. Doesn't that suggest that this isn't a black dragon lair at all? It's a troll's lair that a black dragon passed through. So that makes it a black dragon's lair. Boss, boss, come and take a look at this drawing. It's a bunch of trolls dancing around a tree. But the tree sure doesn't look happy. That's a long-leaf tree ant, Bonehead. By the looks of it, they took something from the tree ants. Oh, there's another drawing over here. It looks like the trolls fighting, then something getting ripped up. Uh, the treasure map! Looks like the trolls got into a fight in the same place they saw the black dragon. Wherever it is, It'll have been destroyed. Maybe we'll find the other parts of the map there? We'd better go take a look. Now, can we please get away from the stench coming from that cauldron? Poor old drunk, he's about to faint. Why, me and Spike are coming too. I took you here, so you take me there. Then we're even. Maps back together, but I've still got no idea where any of these places are supposed to be. Kella. Any idea what the circle's pointing to? Hmm, so if this is here, then we go through here, and uh, maybe turn it on its side. Right, right, there's the river, so if we go this way, got it, it's near Korlak All. Nice work, Kella. <laughs> oh, I could have done that. <laughs> hey, I said you could follow us, bomber boy. Why, it's my treasure map, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please don't fight. Appreciate the diplomacy, Gov. Otherwise, now'd be the perfect time to try out my super self-destructo insta-detonator. Mutiny! Sedition! Turncoats, the lot of ya! Look at his eyes, Spike. The cold, dead eyes of a jail warden. Oh, I 
have heard tale of the goblin's temperament. Seeing it firsthand, I feel somewhat sorry for them. As I was saying, I have proof. Looks like that pearl really is Catalpas. You're all crazy! Naturally, I am still searching for the others. Yargentis, Zaneros, Firamar. Each of these dragons has attacked good friends of mine. And so I lent them my pearls. But that was three weeks ago. The pearls have not been returned. A goblin and a wyvern. And strong ones at that. Since you call yourselves mercenaries, I have a job for you. So, first you take our treasure away, and now you want us to go and do your dirty work? This mercenary luck ain't cheap, Twighead. What are you gonna pay us in, eh? Leaves? My creations are more precious than gold. The Pearl of Decay. A purgative for nature. Bringing forth new life. The Pearl of Flame. A vessel to contain the rage of the earth. The pearl of frost, a drop of pure dew that thaws the desolate cold. Retrieve them and bring them to me as soon as you can do this for me. And the four pearls will be your reward. My old friend Glorus went missing on the night of burning stars. Two days ago, he came here bearing wounds from the black dragon. His injuries were bizarre. His throat corroded by poison burns all over his body, his skin frozen, a host of agonies in a horrid harmony. The black dragon has not been seen since the sunset of the gods. Over a thousand years ago, though its power is unknown, it is far beyond that of other dragons. The Pearl of Shadow alone is not enough, but combined Here to 
recuperate what he needs all for pearls. As for your reward, pearls can be remade, but life cannot. If that's the case, then you ought to set up a factory. Kickstart mass production! Create some jobs! Absolutely not. The pearls gain their power from nature. Making them requires careful exploration. Silent resolve and many days of labor. Only then can you... Fine, fine, forget I asked. I'm not spending any more time listening to a treat. So, we find the people who borrowed your pearls, rough them up for some light fees, and bring them back. That it? Bring back the pearls. The violence is unnecessary. Your lordship, will you accompany this goblin and his wyvern as their guardian? Oh, fine! If I have to drag you along, at least you're not complete dead weight. First things first, I'm getting the lion's share of this reward. Now, any idea where the guys who borrowed your stuff went? I have marked them on the map. The Pearl of Decay is with Sina in Leafthorpe. The Pearl of Frost is with the Shaw. In Caledoria, and the Pearl of Flame is with the Trevor in Norwell. Dragons have been sighted in these three places. Please proceed. Very well. 